Keller Williams Realty and I am answering your McBurnin questions. And this question comes in from John Donlin. Is it a misconception to take a house off the market that isn't selling quickly or does it speak to another issue like price or condition? So in reality, a property should sell within the first 30 days if it is priced correctly. Um, there's not necessarily any need to take it off the market if it doesn't sell that fast. However, um, generally, if it doesn't sell within the first 30 days, you really should look to uh, feedback concerning location, condition, and all of those speak to price. Oftentimes, buyer's feedback or even buyer's agent's feedback doesn't speak to the price. It will speak to other things. Lack of hardwood floors, you know, the condition isn't great, but really all that boils down to is perceived value. And if buyers do not perceive that the asking price is correct and that that is within market value range, then they'll likely not make an offer. They'll generally wait for a price reduction or for the next new listing to come on the market. If a property has been sitting for an awfully long time with no activity, no offers, um, usually it is a good thought to take it off the market and maybe try again. Uh, market conditions are always changing, so if values go up, the person may be able to sell at the right price. Or maybe they should look at improvements or, you know, just overall condition to get it ready for the next go around. Hope that answers your question. You can call, click, or text for more information and to ask your McBurning questions, 978-337-9955, or visit sarahwillsellyourhome.com, or like us on Facebook. Bye.